and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy. Wrath on the vessels of wrath, riches of his glory. Those are riches of Christ because Christ is God's glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. People try to argue around and say, well, he doesn't really fit any vessel to destruction. What I'm reading says he does. Vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, vessels of mercy afore prepared unto glory. Even us whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also the Gentiles. See, this is God's Israel. As he saith also in Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. He's talking there about Gentile nations whom God purposed to save, passed by the Jews and brought in these Gentiles. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, notice, a remnant shall be saved. Think about Noah and the ark. There are only eight persons saved alive. Why were they saved? Well, it says Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. That's it. 